back to SciTech Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a very useful LED light panel. This device is actually very useful for when you're wanting to film videos and you need a little bit of an extra light to light up your background or to eliminate shadows and to make your videos look a lot better. So let's get started. And the items that you are going to need is a 9 volt battery, a switch, which is optional, a 9 volt battery connector to be able to make a connection to the battery and some LED tape and a piece of cardboard. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to use a Zacto knife and I'm going to go and cut the inside layer. I'm not going to cut all the way through. I want to cut just the inside groove in order to uh, be able to fold the cardboard. So I'm just going to gently cut There we go, fold it over. That could be a useful stand to allow me to stand up these LEDs. Now I'm gonna use my hot glue to glue it into place so that way it keeps a perfect angle so I can always keep it as a stand. And there you go. It's exactly what I wanted for it to stand up just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my LED strips on, glue that one into place so it's in a little bit extra and more secure. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my LED strips. There we go. Now it's time to connect all the strips together so it becomes one circuit. Attach the negative wire to the negative terminal. Solder the wire to negative to negative. So it looks just like this. Let's test it out and there. It works. Now I'm going to put some hot glue over the leads to keep it insulated. And connect the battery connector to the battery. And as you can see, it works just like that. Now it's time for me to solder the wires into place. Now I have the back panel to cover the top. To, to do this, I'll put some hot glue. Put it on just like that. There you have it. Now let's take that off and let's go and seal the battery connector completely. There we go. Now it's good and sealed. And now let's go ahead and do the final test. And there you have it. It is now complete. Although I have my slide switch right here, but I mean, I don't really need it, so I'm actually just going to toss it because I actually prefer to just connect the battery and disconnect the battery directly. It seems a little bit easier and more practical for me. And I like it better like that. But if you want, you can go ahead and put the switch on. It's very easy to do. Cut either negative or positive wire to be able to install that switch. It's optional. And now I just simply connect my battery and just leave it behind just like that. To me, it's a little sloppy, but I actually prefer it like this. It suits my needs for what I'm using this particular panel for. 
If you want, you can improve this design by adding maybe some Velcro or maybe a little battery holder. It's up to you, but for me, I prefer this. But as you can see how my hand is lit up, this background light is exactly what I want. This is exactly why I made this, so I can be able to do some videos and film projects to make things look better. As you can see, this is what I don't like. I don't like little shadows underneath something like that. And now when I turn the light on, those shadows almost completely disappear. Here's another example. As you can see, there are shadows underneath all these objects, and it looks a little dull. And there, it looks a little better when I turn that light on. Now on my camera, I can, I have it on auto mode to adjust the lighting on automatic. Now I'm going to put it on manual, and this is how it's going to look. Video quality is now much better. So this will make things look a lot better and make my future projects look a little bit cleaner and nicer looking. This was something that I wanted to make to be able to make my videos look a little better and I can be able to see the projects better. But yes, there you have it. An LED light panel made by just a simple 9 volt and, they, and some LED strips stuck on a piece of cardboard. Very simple. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.